the next few minutes, I'm here to talk about my free fall to life. In fact, it was a free fall to lifestyle diseases in a positive way. It's also because of a fruit, or the big fruit, which free, free falls into garbage can every day in Kerala. Okay, so I took a task, is it possible to revive this fruit, to take this jackfruit a future? Okay, so that's what I started. So what I'm going to talk about is the invention of a green jackfruit flower, which to me is a big fruit surprise for the big food companies, as well as for WHO, the World Health Organization yesterday, talked about beat NCDs, and the hashtag beat NCDs, non-communicable diseases, is a major problem for the world. It's a focus area. And how do we do that? It is by converting grain to green in our plate. That's a story I'll be talking about, how I discovered this through the humble jackfruit. Okay, are we ready? So what are we talking about? What is jackfruit? What is chakka, right? Jackfruit means five different things to people, okay? It's a fruit, it's a nut, it's a vegetable, it's a vegan meat, or Brahmin's meat, and it's also a staple food, a carbohydrate for, mainly for people from Kerala and Sri Lanka. It's a meal, right? What we're talking about is, and it's all known as jackfruit, right? What we're talking about is chakka. Okay, what does that word chakka come from? Is it a fruit? In Malayalam, it's called chakka. In Tamil, it's called Palakai. In Telugu, it's called Halsinakai. In, um, in so, Telugu, it's called Panasakai. And in Telugu, uh, Kannada, it's called um, Halsinakai, right? So the word kai in English means green fruit. So chakka is a green jackfruit, not a fruit. It's a green. Okay, first of all, chakka is a green. It is before it becomes sweet. Like green apple or green mango, it is a green. Agreed? Okay, so that's what we're talking about. Now, next one, how did I land with jackfruit? So this is a journey about going from a, a burger to another burger. This is my failed experiment to make a jackfruit burger. So I was with the biggest software company, and out of wacky idea, I decided to work for the biggest fruit. Okay, so the free fall from the biggest software to the biggest fruit, because I decided to write a book. And in between, I was looking at the jackfruit. I said, okay, this is going waste every year. This is Kerala state fruit. 600 crores worth of jackfruit goes waste every year. Something must be done about it, okay? So initially, I made a green jackfruit burger, like one of the largest big food companies in India has a vegetable burger made of potato and rice. So why can't I make a vegetable burger with the green jackfruit? It came out really well. But the burger manufacturer told me the cold chain in India is not as established as the Western countries. If it is for export, I will give it a shot. But to me, if it grows in India, it should be consumed in India. Called the farm to fork. So that was my first goal. So then I dropped the idea of the frozen burger campaign. Then I went on to make it as a five-star item. So the IA jackfruit, IA chaka to the AHA chaka. So I made it available in five-star hotels on the menus and we had 100 five-star recipes on jackfruit. That is when it became the jackfruit is a five-star chakka now. Okay, so that was the first marketing campaign which I did with it. But then, 2014 Easter, something strange happened. Father Thomas came to me, and this is my entry into lifestyle diseases. He came and narrated an incident that he took his norm, he, he's been diabetic for seven years, and this is one of the non-communicable diseases, one of the largest non-communicable diseases is diabetes. So I'll focus on that, what role jackfruit can play there. So he told me that one night he took the Kerala jackfruit meal, and then after, after 50 minutes, he took his normal dose of insulin, and he collapsed. He became hypoglycemic. So what is the Kerala jackfruit meal? The three ingredients are green jackfruit, turmeric, coconut, and then a few other things, so steam cooked. It's very lightly cooked, right? So I then did a nutritional comparison on what is green jackfruit, chakka, versus what he used to eat was rice or roti. So when I compared with that, the calorie was 70 less than a cup of rice, or 115 less than two rotis. 
So almost half, 40% to, to 50% difference between rice and roti. So the calorie was low. Then I looked at, is there any scientific studies out there which shows that green jackfruit is good or bad for diabetes? So Ceylon Medical Journal had one published study which shows the glycemic load of green jackfruit. Only Kerala and Sri Lanka has the culture of eating green jackfruit as a meal. Everybody else takes it either as a fruit or as a sabji or a vegetable. Right. So Sri Lanka did a study on this, and the glycemic load there was 13. Okay, and you can see that the, the dotted line is what happens when you take the jackfruit meal. After 30 minutes, it comes down really, really fast. Whereas normal food, it goes up, and over two hours, it gradually comes down like a mount. So this priest took his insulin after 30 minutes, so it was already coming down, so it became hyperglycemic. So I could, I could relate to what happened. So then I looked at, is there any other information? So the nutritiondata.com, uh, which is where the nutritionists look up for data, they have an estimated glycemic load, which says the glycemic load of green jackfruit is 16. But nobody has done a study on the Kerala jackfruit. So I send, then sent the Kerala jackfruit to Sydney University Glycemic Index Research Service. That is the world's best in glycemic studies. And what did we get? The glycemic load is 17. So three separate studies, it is 17, 16, or 13. So 17 or less. Now how do we compare this with rice or, or roti? Rice is 29, roti is 27, and green jackfruit is only 17, so almost half. So calorie is low, carbohydrate is low, glycemic load is low. It's definitely better than rice and wheat, right? So the, the verdict came clear, it is a better alternate to rice and wheat, and people can continue to eat this. Okay, that was the first conclusion which we got from the study. I look at the best plate. So American Diabetes Association has the perfect plate concept which is 50% of the plate should be green. Okay, now let's look at, and 25% should be carbohydrate, whereas an average Indian plate is at least 80% carbohydrate. Okay, we got it completely wrong, okay? In fact, the green revolution of India is actually a grain revolution at the expense of greens in our plate. We started eating less greens, right? So let's look at the oldest plate of Kerala. So when we have jackfruit meal, 50% of a plate was green jackfruit with turmeric and coconut. And then 25% was of protein, fish curry or paneer curry or, egg or chickpea curry. And finally, we will have the rice porridge, which is expensive. Rice was expensive those days. So we used to fill our stomach with the green jackfruit. So this is a perfect plate as per American Diabetes Association because chaka is a green, right? So 50% of the plate is green, 25% is protein, 25% is carbohydrate. And this is also called a neutral calorie plate. This is only 500 calories, because a cup of jackfruit is only 100 calorie. The half cup of rice is 200 calories, and protein is 200 calories, so 500 calories plate, whereas typical Indian plate is minimum 650 calories. Okay? And if you take the rice out, if you eat only green jackfruit and the protein, you get a 300 calorie plate, which is called a low calorie diet. And if you want to look up on what happens with the low-calorie diet, it was published in, in December 7th in Lancet, uh, the very low-calorie diet can reverse diabetes. And that science is already out there now. There's a breakthrough in diabetes that diabetes can be reversed through a calorie-restricted diet. But the key difference here is that jackfruit gives you high satiety. It makes you feel full for longer. So at 300 calories, you have a full meal. Okay, that is the big difference between jackfruit and all other low-calorie diet out there. It, it's filling. It keeps you full. Okay? So what happened to Father Thomas? After I, I brought the study back to him, he stopped eating rice and wheat. And he would take the green jackfruit meal or other vegetable and only the protein. And within one year, he lost 12 kilos and he stopped taking medicine completely. He was completely out of insulin. Okay, so this is what happened. So this is again the low calorie diet effect. And if you have the level of detail, look at the collar of or the second picture. You can see the gap between his collar and neck. He lost 12 kilos, okay? Now, by this time my book got published and Dr. Kalam got the first copy. And I told him what I was working on, so he wanted to know what I was doing with jackfruit. And he went through it and he said, this is pure science. This is not medicine. A high fiber meal always translates to low absorption of sugar. That is pure science. But there's only one thing new here. 
it's possible to eat an unripe fruit as a meal. Most fruits you cannot because they are extremely acidic. If you look at green mango or green apple, when they are not ripe, they're extremely acidic. You can't eat in quantity. Whereas green jackfruit, you can have a plate full because of the low acidity. You must find a way to add this to what people normally eat. Okay, you can't expect the rest of India to eat the Kerala jackfruit meal. You must find a way to add this to what people normally eat. Okay? So what he asked me was, look at a way to add jackfruit into idli and roti. That is what all of India eats. Okay? The way we added iodine into salt, without any change in taste or texture, can we add this to what people normally eat? Then there will be no resistance to change. Okay? It took 18 months. It took 18 months of engineering hacks. And finally, we cracked it. What did we get? We made a flower out of green jackfruit. And this is my claim to fame in engineering. Okay, after 25 years, and I have significant competition in my classmates, what goes through their hand <laughs> has gone to Mars. Okay? And I had to file two patents to get this. And this is not a powder, this is a flower which has got a binding factor higher than rice flour and less than wheat flour. So up to a third you can add to idli, to dosa, to roti, to dokla, you won't have a clue. But when you take in three idlis, you're getting two idli and a vegetable, correct? One third is the green jackfruit. When you're taking three rotis, the third roti is a green fruit. It is a green. So you have an automatic reduction in grain and an increase in green, right? Without changing the number of idli or roti you're eating. Okay, so that is, that is the breakthrough which we did. Now, how does this, so we can look at this. There is absolutely no. So in South India, idli, dosa, putta, you name it, anything which you use a rice powder or a rice batter or a wheat, wheat flour, we can replace a third without any change in taste or texture, okay? The fulka, the puri, the upma, anything, anything which India eats, we can, we can replace it except the rice, okay? We'll have to do a lot more engineering if we want to replace the rice, okay? So now let's look at the non-communicable diseases. What does WHO, World Health Organization, asking the big food companies to do, okay? Increase availability and affordability of vegetables and fruits. So off the, off the top six, six ask. Number two is increase the availability of vegetable and fruit and the affordability. Number six, reduce calorie density in food. Okay, so if you look at, if you look at the, all the fast food which we eat, the calorie is very high. So hypercalorie diet is causing non-communicable diseases. So we have to reduce the calorie density, okay? Is there a role for the big fruit? So in the flour form, this is what we did, okay? So when the burger failed, so what WHO is asking for big food companies is to reduce portion size. So I've removed a quarter of it, 30% I've taken out, and increase vegetable and fruit consumption, right? If I can add a green fruit into it, or a green vegetable into it, you achieve both, correct? And what did we do with the jackfruit flour? We could replace a third of the bun and a third of the patty, and you won't have a clue. You won't have a clue, you have replaced both the grain and the meat with the green. Okay, this is what we have cracked with the green jackfruit flour. Okay, now, we didn't stop there. We did a competition for chefs, five-star chefs in Kochi to include one-third green jackfruit flour in the pizza. And the top chefs, in fact, Chef Abhishek, the youngest chef, he actually did 50% of the flour with jackfruit. And nobody had a clue that the pizza had jackfruit in it. And two weeks from now, we're running a competition in Pala, parotta making competition, okay? Parotta is again a big food, Kerala is, you know, we, we know it's, it's been, we're not happy with it, right? But if I can replace a third of the parotta with the green jackfruit, there's nothing more healthier than that. So this is what we, we, we are doing with the green jackfruit to replace grain with the green and reduce the calorie density as well as increase the vegetable and fruit intake. So now let me show you the, the product. Okay, so this is, this is a cup of green jackfruit. Okay, a cup of green jackfruit in dehydrated form. When we powder it, this is what we get. This is the green jackfruit flour which we have invented. 
Okay, it took two, two patents and significant engineering to get here. And this is something which a third of this can replace anything which you eat, which starts with the pancake to pizza to, to noodles, anything which you make, a third can be replaced. There is no change in taste or texture. And you know how much this costs? 10 rupees. 10 rupees is, or 15 cents. Okay? And to get this jackfruit into this powder form with one year shelf life, 365 days of shelf life, with neutral taste, neutral smell. What is the biggest problem with jackfruit as a fruit is that the fragrance is too overpowering, right? Many people either love it or hate it. But this is like potato. This is like rice flour or wheat flour, neutral. You have no idea. In fact, we had a, we had a session a few days ago where um, someone tried the, the putter or the roti with it. They said, I can't smell jackfruit in it. I said, do you look for iodine when you, when you taste salt? Or do you look for salt? So it'll have the taste of the roti, taste of the putter, taste of the pizza, not the taste of the jackfruit. Because it's neutral. Okay? That is how easy it is to embrace this. So all I would say is that if any of your family wants to fix your plate, always remember this. 50% of the plate should be green or green fruit. 25% should be protein. 25% should be carbohydrate. And if you're already diabetic, take the carbohydrate off. Just 50% green. But if you do a low calorie diet, always make sure you have a medical professional working with you. Because this, in combination with medication, could have hypoglycemic effect. Okay? That is my story of free falling from the biggest software to the biggest fruit. And taking the biggest fruit from the tree into the heart of our need to tackle non-communicable diseases or lifestyle diseases. So not a single jackfruit should be wasted. Please embrace it. Thank you.